Hi there. Now for this question, we're asked to use the binomial expansion to show that the square root of the fraction 1 plus x all divided by 1 minus x is approximately 1 plus x plus a half x squared for the modulus of x being less than 1. And this is worth 6 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I haven't done so already, just give you a moment then to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution, or you might want to fast forward. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now if we're using the binomial expansion for something like this, because we're going to be using non-integer positive powers, we need to use this particular formula. The form 1 plus a to the power n, which is identical to 1 plus n a plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times a squared, plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial times a cubed, plus and so on. And you should be familiar with this formula. It generally is in most formula books. So in this example then, let's just take our square root of this fraction here first of all and then just work on that. So we've got the square root then, let's put that in, of the fraction 1 plus x to all divided by 1 minus x. Now this is going to be the same as square rooting the top and bottom. Square root of 1 plus x which I'm going to write as 1 plus x and we need a power now OK, so I'm going to write that to the power half. And then for the root of 1 minus x, which is in the denominator, I'm going to bring that up to the top and it becomes a negative power. So we multiply this with 1 minus x to the power minus a half. So when I compare our functions here with what we've got here, the a for this first one is going to be replaced with x and the n is being replaced by the half. So we can say then that this is going to be approximately the same as, and if we just put a square bracket up first of all, we've got 1 then plus n, the power, so that's going to be a half, multiplied by whatever a represents, and a in this one is x, so it's going to be a half x. Then it's going to be plus n times n minus 1, so it's going to be a half multiplied with minus a half, if we subtract 1 away from that half. Then it's multiplied by a squared, a then is the x, so it's multiplied by x all squared, and it's divided by 2 factorial. Now I'm going to shift the 2 factorial under the a in this example. It just seems to look a lot neater. So it's divided by 2 factorial. And we only need to take this up to terms in x squared, so I don't need this extra term here. So we just put though plus and so on. And we'll finish off the square bracket, so just come down like so. OK, and this is multiplied now by 1 minus x to the power minus a half. So just put up another square bracket and we start to expand this. Only this time a is going to be the minus x and n is going to be minus a half. So we're going to have 1 plus n times a, so it's going to be plus n, which is minus a half, times a, which is minus x. Then we plus n times n minus 1, so it's going to be minus a half, and if I subtract 1 from that, it's going to be minus 1 and a half, or minus 3 over 2, and we multiply it with a squared, so that's going to be minus x all squared, and it's divided by 2 factorial. Okay. And there'll be other terms as well, but we're not really interested in those. So again, we just need to complete our bracket there. OK. Next, I'm going to tidy up each of these brackets. OK. So for the first one, then, we've got 1 
and then we got a half x. I'm going to write that as plus x over 2 though. And for this one, we're going to have a negative overall, and we're going to have x squared over 2 times 2, and 2 factorial is 2, so you're going to get 8 there. So it's minus x squared over 8. Okay? And there'll be other terms, plus and so on, and we'll close that bracket. Now we'll go on to this one here, and we've got 1 first of all. And then for this term, this is going to be plus, plus a half x, or plus x over 2. And for this term, I can see we're going to get a positive here, and we're going to get a positive here when we square this minus x. So overall, it's going to be positive. And then we're going to have 3 on the top times x squared, so it's going to be 3x squared. And in the denominator here, we're going to have 2 times 2 times another 2. So it's going to be 8, and then plus, and so on. Now, we need to expand both the brackets next. We're only interested in terms up to x squared. So we'll start with the 1. And that 1 is going to multiply each of those three terms. And it's going to give us back those three terms then. So we're going to get 1 plus x over 2 plus 3x squared over 8. So that's that. And now we're going to take the x over 2 and multiply it just with the first two terms so that we go up to x squared. x over 2 times 1 is plus x over 2. And x over 2 times another x over 2 is going to be plus x squared over 4. Now we're only going to get one more x squared term when we take this and multiply it just with the 1. So we're going to end up with minus x squared over 8. I'll put plus and so on because there'll be other terms but not terms that we'll be interested in. So if we now just group our terms together We've got the 1 here. As for x terms, we've got half x plus another half x. So that's just going to be plus x. And then for x squared terms, we've got 3 eighths x squared minus another eighth x squared. So that's 2 eighths x squared or a quarter x squared. Add it to another quarter x squared and you've got half x squared. So I'll just write that as plus half x squared rather than x squared over 2. Not that it really matter, but uh, it just looks exactly the same as that. I'm going to write plus and so on though, okay? And there we go.